Today we're going to address the front wheel. Given the good condition of the chrome, I'll start with SOS pads and hold off on the wire brush and citrus cleaner, but I'll keep them at the ready just in case. I like to leave the tire on during cleaning because it makes it easier to control the wheel. I highly suggest not using steel wool or wire brushes on any CAD or zinc treated surfaces like the spokes. I'll polish the rim with chrome polish and terry cloths. I'll put the wheel on the truing stand to see how bad it is. I'll spray the spoke nipples with WD-40 before I start. I'll throw the bearings in carb cleaner and let them soak. I'll later pack the clean bearings with marine grease and reinstall. I'll replace the rim strip, tube, and tire. I normally use non-ammonia glass cleaner on the bead when mounting a new tire. It helps to seat it properly. Quick note on the 37597 tires. These have become unobtainium at this point. Huh? It's nearly impossible to find. Oh. I reached out to Kenda to find out if the tires had been discontinued. I was told they have not been discontinued, but they have huge backups in the Taiwan factory. I did find someone selling them for 500 bucks a pair on Feebay. What's he smoking? But if you keep an eye out on Feebay and Crapazon, you might find one for an okay price. Okay, let's get started. So do you want the good news or the good news? I'll take C, please. So the rim's really straight. There are some loose spokes. So we can just tighten those up. We should be good to go.
the front wheel came out pretty good. The hub fought me a little bit. I actually had to break out the carburetor cleaner, but I think I beat it. I'm going to let the bearing soak and carb cleaner for a while. The guy had really expensive rim tape. Unfortunately, he had the wrong size. So what's next? We tackle the rear wheel. Well, that's all for now. And remember, it's only original once. Take care.